Hello, Belovers. Today I'm going to share with you my top 10 favorite reality shows. Keep watching. Hello, Belovers. Today I'm going to share with you my top 10 favorite reality shows. Now, because we're a culture that's obsessed with reality TV, taking a peek into everyone's lives, I thought I'd start off with number 10. Keeping up with the Kardashians. The literally Kim Bible, duh. I love keeping up with the Kardashians because that show literally teaches you to embrace your inner celebrity and to really get in touch with your inner psych 101, really, if you really think about it. There is much you can learn from these reality programs if you actually tune into the psychology of humanity. I know, it's pretty awesome. Number nine, Real Sex on HBO. I used to watch this on HBO as a kid when I was told to go upstairs to my room because I wasn't allowed to watch it with the parents downstairs. But hello, that's what you get when you give me my own television with cable in my room. Like, I'm not gonna wanna watch it. Who are you, really? Reevaluate your decisions, people, as parents. I liked real sex because it taught me more about sex than anybody else. <laughs> Like from a very young age, I got to learn what the schools weren't teaching me, what my parents weren't teaching me, and what my peers weren't teaching me. So thank you HBO for having real sex as educational content for today's youth. Number eight, pop stars on the WB. I really love this show. First of all, for those of you who don't know, Nicole Scherzinger was part of this awesome band called Eden's Crush, alongside with Miley Misahan, Yvette Sosa, Rosanna Tavares, Ana Maria Lombo, and Yvette Sosa. I think I said her already. One, two, three, four, five. Those five awesome packed quite a poppy punch. It was a great reality show. I did audition for season two. They came out with scene 23. Little fact you don't know about me, but I didn't get cast. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, The Real Housewives franchise. Now there's way too many here. I love Beverly Hills, New York, Potomac, Orange County, Miami just a little bit, um, and New Jersey. Oh, I love New Jersey. You need to bring it back, sister. And the reason why I love this show, because uh, hello, reality life, and it's not so real either. I just love these shows because you get to see how they live and how they shop. And I also like to watch these shows for manifestation purposes. So if you would like to live the life that they are living, just see yourself living that life. And duh, number six. I have to follow this up with a spoof called The Real Hot Wives of Orlando. You can find it on Hulu. It's a spoof based off of The Real Housewives of all of everywhere. <laughs> it's hilarious. You need to watch this. It's called The Real Hot Wives. Okay. Number five. She's got the look. It was on VH1 and it was pretty much a top model for um, women like 40 and up which is a great show and a great concept. And I'm pretty sure that one of the ladies that actually won this contest of She's Got the Look was actually a runway model that was featured in The Real Housewives of New York City during one of, I think it was either Jill Zarin's party or Ramona's party. It's like season three or four. I'm not gonna look for it, but if you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. I think her name is Huda or Hoda. Number four, Tabitha's Salon Takeover. Oh my gosh, I miss Tabitha. You are amazing, Tabitha. If you're watching, I doubt you are. But if you are, you're amazing and you need to get back to it, sister. Okay. Don't mind the list, but I'm wearing my Smell Direct Club aligners. Ding! I love Tabitha Salon Takeover because back when the show was airing, I was so cognizant of the salons that I would go to and I'd like wonder if, you know, if, how would I make over their salon if I was Tabitha? And like, are they really like changing out the bleach? Are they really using clean shampoo? They better have washed that towel. And why do those towels smell so gross? Is anybody drinking behind that seat? Like, do you know what I mean? Like I started thinking about all these random things that like really just were pointless. <laughs> But point being is that it was a fun show to watch nonetheless, which takes me to number three, Kitchen Nightmares. Gosh, I love that show because I am such a germaphobe that I like to make sure that I know what restaurant was on this show so I know not to go there. Number one. Number two, within that Kitchen Nightmares show, it's a great show because it really does show you from a managerial point of view how you can really increase your business and how by seating out those who are not really active in your business. What I love about Kitchen Nightmares is Chef Gordon Ramsay puts all of these restaurants in their place. I don't mean that in a condescending manner, but like honestly, he weeds out all of the inactivity that is working at the restaurant, you know, and he makes sure that you're giving appropriate product, your food is actually done right. And I always wondered in this small town, you can really use a person like Gordon Ramsay to really like, you know, get these restaurants in tip top shape if you really want to know. Number two, dun 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 dun. I'm so excited. America's Next Top Model. Are you smizing? I love America's Next Top Model. I love Tyra Banks, literally. Like I have this motto, it's a logo, walk as if Tyra was watching. Right, I know. I love Tyra. I love America's Next Top Model because literally I have been one of those guys that my whole life has been wanting to go into the industry of modeling, entertainment, and my best teachers were not only televisions, but the programs within the televisions because I'm an only child and I really didn't have much of a social life or real friends that took me anywhere. Smize as if Tyra was watching. I know, right? 
I love this show because America's Next Top Model, Tyra Banks, she taught me how to be my best male model, my best version of myself because I didn't go to modeling school. I'm really grateful that Tyra Banks not only created this amazing platform, but she has been able to not only teach and guide all of us who have been passionate about the aesthetic of fashion and modeling and representation of the self. So that's why I love Tyra Banks and America's Next Top Model, yeah. And my number one top favorite reality program is Drumroll, please. Dun 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 dun. RuPaul's Drag Race. I know I had to show you the RuPaul's Drag concert from last year. I forgot to get one this year. I know, whatever. But I got the VIP jacket nonetheless. <laughs> I love RuPaul's Drag Race because RuPaul has not only helped me embrace my inner child, but like literally I had to go through my own growing and I'm sure I'll do a video about this too. I'm like my own growth and like the dark night of soul. But point being is that watching RuPaul's Drag Race really helped me identify all parts of myself. It helped me really come to terms with my creative side. Until watching the program, I realized I had a lot of work to do. And since watching the show, I've done so much work on myself and I recognize my own growth. And I'm so grateful to this show because honestly, if it wasn't for those scenes where RuPaul showed the top four, their baby pictures, and like the words that they would give their child self. That right there kind of reignited my own passion for my self-love and made me realize, you know what, we're all here for a purpose. We're all here for a reason. And I need to just love my life and paint with all of my colors. So that's why I love RuPaul's Drag Race as my number one favorite reality show. I know, I love it. Something you might not know about me. I auditioned for season 11, but I wasn't ready clearly because they didn't cast me. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, hello. Have you seen my makeup tutorials? <laughs> Which means we need to get this makeup game on point. Unless I have a glam squad to like get me out there on stage clearly because I can totally character it perfectly. But my makeup skills and my sewing skills need some improvement. But at least I know, you know, I know. I'm definitely gonna be campaigning for season 13. I just need to get it together. I know, don't forget to vote. Is there a voting process? I don't know. <laughs> Well, there you have it, Belovers, my top 10 favorite reality programs. If you have any suggestions for a show you'd like me to partake in, please comment below. I'm always looking to expand my repertoire for reality television. Like, literally, Bible. Till next time, keep it real, embrace your inner celebrity, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.